so welcome to the release of the public accounts for the fiscal year 2011, uh, 2012. Uh, so again, this year, uh, you can see that uh, British Columbia uh, has ended up, in fact, uh, we all remember in the first quarterly, we had the results of the HST referendum, which means that we were required to book the entire $1.6 billion repayment to the federal government uh, in uh, that current uh, fiscal year, the 2011 fiscal year. That is obviously a one-time, non-recurring, extraordinary expense, uh, but you can see that uh, had we not had the $1.6 billion uh, required payback to the federal government, we came within $241 million of balancing the budget uh, by the reporting out at public accounts. Uh, that is a $684 million reduction in spending from budget, something that uh, we're very proud of. We've done, a, I think, a, a very credible job of demonstrating discipline in government in terms of uh, reducing spending, and that's something that uh, will not be unnoticed uh, or go unnoticed by the uh, credit rating agencies and the investment community. You can see that um, the annual deficit, therefore, is uh, $1.84 uh, billion, dollars, which is down from the uh, third quarter or the budget uh, amount of uh, uh, almost uh, $2.9 billion. Uh, program spending was held to 2.6%. Uh, that's about 40% lower than the 4.3% that we forecast in the budget of 2011. Uh, taxpayer supported debt to GDP is a key uh, indicator, as you know, that the ra credit rating agencies and the investment communities uh, look at in terms of government's uh, ability to manage its debt is 16.4%, which is below the 17.5% that was forecast in the budget, so that will be uh, certainly viewed as a positive, uh, another positive sign. Capital spending maintains uh, the near record levels that we've been undertaking, and I think this is very important for British Columbians to understand that at a time of great economic uncertainty, British Columbia continues to invest record amounts, near record amounts in new schools, in university investments, uh, in hospitals uh, across the province, whether it's the Surrey Memorial uh, in Surrey or Women and Children's in Vancouver or the Fort St. John Hospital up in the Peace Country. Uh, we are making, or the cancer clinic and uh, the new cancer clinic in Prince George, we're making record level investments in capital and we're able to do it affordably at a level that uh, will retain the confidence of credit rating agencies. Uh, provincial GDP, you can see, um, grew 2.9% in 2011. That's the third best in the country, uh, behind, uh, obviously, Alberta and Saskatchewan, the oil-rich uh, uh, provinces in the country, uh, but it's better than the national average of 2.6%. And the international credit rating agencies, again, uh, are providing uh, British Columbia with the highest possible credit rating uh, AAA credit, which uh, we are proud of and intend to maintain. Uh, 